Hey there guys, Prince Marcus and in this video I'm going to guide you how you can easily use ClickUp for students. We are going to create complete templates together and I'm going to show you uh, what you can do there, how you can achieve it, uh, what you can do here. So let's start. The first thing we will do is just click here new space. I'm going to add a space name and I'm going to write it managing, managing student life. Then I'm going to click next, like this, choose a color. You can make it private or uh, like share with the others. And then you can have the active statuses. Now, these active statuses are not really that important straight away here, only because we're going to use it for every single list, it's going to be different. So you can simply click next and don't really care about it right now. Here, uh, you're going to have the click apps. Now, from my perspective, maybe you will need time tracking the custom fields, the priority. That's true too. Multiple signees, if you're going to work with like the people in your class and then just click next here. And now default settings for views. I'm going to also add the links, the board and also the timeline can be great here and table if you want to review space and create a space. So here I'm going to show you what you can do here and how you can manage it. When you have the list, this is the first thing. First thing that we're going to add is a class schedule. So here I'm going to click rename class schedule like this. Okay. Here, then just click on the three dots on the top left, go to list settings, list statuses, and right here, that the first one is going to be fall semester, and then we're gonna have the spring semester, and then click save. Okay, so now go to the right, show and show empty statuses. So, okay, we have the fall semester and spring semester. I will just turn them around if you want to. I'm not able to do that, that's okay. So, okay, we have the spring semester and fall semester. So we can have, let's say, history, right? And now what are the columns that we can add here? Uh, the first thing that we can add is day of the week. So first click here and drop down. Day of the week. So that's the first thing we're gonna need. So I'm going to add Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, add a column. You can always change the colors here, so I can simply click here, edit options and change color for every single day if you really want to play around it. Now, then next you're going to have uh, when it's actually starting. So we can have a number. Or let me show you money, people, phone. We can have it maybe even date. We will see how it goes. Start time. And it can be like, let's say every Monday and it's going to be at 9 a.m. Right? Close. So it, it starts here, right? Now also what I can add is simply start a column and again, add a date. And 
time add a column and I can simply add let's say it's going to be again Monday at a time 11 a.m. okay we got it then you're gonna have a room like this can be when we go further uh, we can go also uh, things like a credit how many credits you're gonna have that's something interesting then we can have also final grade then we go further we can also add a professor these are all the text columns so I'm just like making it a little bit faster and then we can have also the final mark that you're gonna get all oh, final grade we have notes so that's the last thing that you can have right so notes okay so this is pretty much it how we have it and right now what's next and uh, what we can do so this is the class schedule how you can edit it and you can always add everything here the last the next thing is class assignments but what you can do is to have it directly here but you can of course like create a new list and we're gonna have the class like this and we would name it as not to do but we would have it this week again I'm going to list settings list statuses this week next week save okay then again top right show empty statuses here we got it so here I can simply add reading a financial report and now what we can add here first thing first the priority is really important uh, we can have the status so click plus here add drop down status and we can have done waiting for response or working on it add a column when we go further we're gonna have the due date which is going to be let's say for here and then you're gonna have the time estimate which is going to be the number and you can choose if it's going to be like five hours let's say now also what you can have is a course so this can be again add a column and you can choose a drop down which is going to be named course and then you can have the option here so option um, is going to be history or finance and then you just like choose it here so this is pretty much it how you can use the class assignments for managing the student life so when we have the class schedule and we have the class assignments we can go further to personal financing and this is something that you can have for every single month and you can use also the template here but again I'm going to click plus here list personal finance and what we can do here so in a moment when you're going to finish all guys I'm going to teach you how we can use everything but in a moment when you're creating it with me you are learning how to do it and how to use it so you're going to be really effective now the first one is we're going to choose and 
have a list settings here. So we're going to have it as like, let's say September or let's say March, February, January. Save. And now what we can add here. First show empty statuses. So let's say uh, first we are going again create all the columns which are important. So we're going to have, let's say rent, right? Rent. First thing we need is a uh, money column. We're going to add amount. This is going to always be in our list. We are going to add it straight from the beginning. Now when we have it, we can also add a type. So uh, this is going to be like what kind of expense it is. So it's going to be rent. It can be pets, transportation, recreational, income, groceries, health, utilities. Now when we have that, I can add a column. And again, I can like move it here, the type. Then necessity. Again, drop down. Mandatory. High. Medium. Low. Impulse. So we can choose and add the options here. We can always change the colors on every single option that we have. Then add a column. So when we have that, we can go even further. And you can add as a file. So if you want to have it, a file which is going to get called received. And that's pretty much it. So, right. So we're going to have rent 1,500 euro. Then for February, I can choose the type here. If it's, uh, let's say it's a utilities rent and then necessity, let's say mandatory. And this is pretty much it, how we can use the personal finance here. So we have the class schedule, we have the class assignments, we have the personal finance. And then the last step really important is a weekly planner. So I'm going to click space settings here, create a new. And I can click list and I'm going to add weekly planner. So this is also really important to make it right. And but most importantly, make it simple, guys. Don't pressure yourself that it needs to be perfect. Now here you're going to have simple. So I'm going to click here, list settings, list settings, list statuses, custom. And I can always edit those, uh, these statuses. So let's say it's going like straight from down to up. So I can add a status and this is going to be week one, August. Week two, August. And you can always see like, okay, week two, August is going to be this first week from like, let's say eight to 7 to 14 or 8 to 14, let's say, right? And then you can have also week 3, 14, 21. You can have it like as much as you want. So let's say that you're going to have uh, not by weeks, but by days or just like to do what you have to do. And you, I like the week planning, but again, it's up to you how you're going to use it. So I can have show empty statuses. And now let's say team meeting 
Chem Lab, right? Okay. First, due date, assignee, then I'm going to have also the priority here. You can always edit the subtask by clicking here, create a subtask. Then you're going to have the drop down, and I'm going to add the st status as a name. So we can have it again working on it. Then stuck, done. Add a column. Uh, then we can have also date. So when it's going to happen. And then we're going to have the time estimate if you want to. So how long it's going to actually take. So again, I can add number. And I can add a different one. So let's say I can number again. Time actual. Like this. So time estimate can be one hour, but it actually take three hours, right? And this is pretty much it how we can use the weekly planner. You can have it also the board here and have it by weeks, or you can group it easily by status. And here you would have the working on it stuck done. So this is pretty much it how we can use it, guys. This was a simple, quick tutorial. I mean, quick how you can manage your student life. This was a template that I created. Now, if you're going to have any questions regarding this, ask me down in the comments. I'll be really happy to help you and provide you some guidance. And that's pretty much it. So thank you very much, guys. Have a great day and goodbye. See ya.